welcome to my channel. If you're new, kindly follow along. Now, tonight we're looking at a very unlikely heroine. Really. She's a little old lady. But unlike Miss Marble from Agatha Christie, Miss Seaton is rather a scatty old bat. Really. And she gets in the most improbable situations through no fault of her own, particularly. I mean, given a ticket for driving with a skeleton. Improperly clothed skeleton. I mean, really, she's a retired art teacher. Still, the book does include murders with made with a rather callous indifference and a total disregard for human life, which is something that Miss Seaton does not approve of. But really, if, you're, if a man is stabbing a woman for death in a dark alley, the last thing you really should be doing is poking him in the back with your tip of your umbrella and going, no, it won't do. Stop it immediately. Especially since they didn't hear you coming. And he was, ah, yeah. Yeah. In any case, the uh, evildoers attempt repeatedly to do away with her. And <laughs> nothing seems to work. Because just confounding circumstances cut in. Really, I mean, the poor lady can't move an inch without somebody attempting something at some time or other. But for better or worse, the little old lady just kind of wanders away, escaping all danger. Even if she deserves it for being just <sighs> really, I mean, she's not big, she's not bold, she's not bright, she's not got a mind like a bacon slicer. No, she's just a scatty old retired art teacher who does yoga. and gets into trouble. It seems mayhem follows her like a magnet. And that's what makes it funny. The poor old lady just doesn't seem to understand how she gets into these things. It's just... To wonder she doesn't find the world so totally oh, incomprehensible that she just falls into her shell but somehow she continues on in her merry way offending nobody except the bad guys she, for whom she's a distinct thorn in the side so I suggest you get this book this is the first one And it continues on for 13 more books. And there's nothing particularly improbable about any of these uh, activities she gets up to. I mean, of course, a little old lady would close the cupboard door. Because it rattles. And perhaps she just doesn't like having the door under the stairs where you, she stores her vacuum cleaners. She doesn't want that open. I can't say the same, but I'm right. I don't like open cupboard doors myself. <laughs> Thus, <laughs> trapping her, her <laughs> murderer, who at least intended to murder her, inside for the night. Ah. 
that's just how it happens when Miss Seaton is around. So, if you like a good read with improbabilities that aren't so terribly improbable and yet go horribly awry, you'll, you'll enjoy this one. And in fact, the whole series, it's pretty much the same. It takes place in an English country village, most of it, because when she retired, she inherited from, a, from an ancient aunt. So she has a house, a little income, and off she goes to start a new life. Rather more exciting than she had first thought it would be. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you like a funny murder mystery, you've got to read the series. Thank you for watching. Please do come again.